This quick tip is part of Genius TV's online Final Cut Pro 10 training course. If you find this tip useful, visit GeniusDV.com to register for an online class. And for today only, stay tuned for a special promo code to take the training. Check out this short tutorial on how to create a video slideshow using Final Cut Pro 10. One method of importing still images into Final Cut Pro 10 is to import them directly from iPhoto. Then go back to the Final Cut Pro 10 application. Navigate to the Final Cut Pro toolbar and click on the Photo Browser button. This will bring forward the Photo Browser window, which will give you access to all your images within iPhoto. Go ahead and select a group of photos and drag them to the Timeline window. A dialog box may appear saying the video properties are not recognized. Go ahead and choose the video properties that you'd like to use and press the OK button. Now, if you're not happy with the default duration of your still images, it's easy to change the duration of all your clips at the same time. Verify that all your clips are still selected within the timeline window, and then press Ctrl D. Then enter the new duration within the timecode dashboard display area. This will automatically adjust the duration of all your clips within the timeline. Okay, if you are working with any of the HD widescreen video properties, your standard digital photos won't fill the screen area. To fix this, click on the Transform Effect icon in the bottom left corner of the viewer window. Then drag one of the blue handles in the corner of the image to scale it so it fits the screen. Now all the clips have been properly formatted for a 16x9 screen size. Now, you may also need to adjust the areas of the picture that are displayed within the widescreen area. Go ahead and place the playhead indicator above a clip within the timeline, and then adjust the image within the viewer window. You can also add a transition to all your clips at the same time. To do this, click on the Transitions button. Within the Transitions browser window, Double click on the transition you'd like to use between all your clips. OK, it's that easy. If you found this tutorial helpful, take a look at Genius TV's online Final Cut Pro 10 training. It includes a lifetime membership with access to over 60 lectures that include practice media and project files. Plus, you'll have the ability to ask questions and take notes as you go through the class. For today only, use this special one-time promo code for 50% off. If you need hands-on training in a real classroom, check out our 5-day Final Cut Pro slash motion class. Visit GeniusTV.com to sign up.